Well, in tonight's class action, ABCs and one, two, three, D. A Los Altos school district is doing an experiment. They're trying out 3D virtual reality in the classroom. Now, it's a pilot program to find out if studying 3D images can help kids learn. My animal was a dolphin. The lab at Gardner Bullis Elementary School in Los Altos is the site of an unusual class project. These are some of the body parts of the dolphin. It's really awesome how it's shown here. These kids are among the first in the country to use a new 3D educational display. It's really amazing. The Los Altos School District is doing a pilot program to test Z-Space. It's a learning tool that uses glasses and a stylus Press the circle. to create an immersive educational experience. It's actually like I haven't imagined it before. Like I never knew like technology was this advanced. I tell them like turn your hand and see the inside of it and they like some of them jump back in excitement of what they can explore. Believe it or not, dolphins are trained in the military to look for stranded and lost people. These sixth graders are using Z-Space. Scientists believe that they are similar to humans. To make presentations about marine life to their first grade class buddies. And can hold their breath for 13 minutes. They couldn't believe that there was an actual like lobster in front of them. My buddies, um, they actually tried to touch it. There's Four cameras, one there, there, yep. there, and there. The system tracks the user's glasses and then generates a real-time 2D display of the student's 3D experience. It's in 3D. When computers came along, we stopped interacting spatially and started looking at things that were stuck to a screen or behind a screen. And with Z-Space, that barrier is removed. Isn't it so real that like you can hold it? It feels like you're kind of picking up the actual fish and just taking it apart. And it feels like you're right there with the animal or whatever you're taking apart. The district doesn't know definitively yet if Z-Space technology improves learning, but early signs point to success. A lot of them will come in at lunch and use the Z-Space on their own time, and they're just finding tons of different things that they can explore that they never even knew that they were interested in. Okay, want to take it apart? One thing is certain, the kids at Gardner Bullis are excited to learn. Aren't dolphins awesome? <laughs> They are awesome. Now, as for the cost, the Z-Space Lab setup can cost anywhere from $25,000 to $50,000, so it might be pricey for some school districts. Now, we should mention, too, that it's not just for K-12 through schools. Z-Space is also being used at UCSF and Stanford for medical research and education. It's really interesting, Raj. Students, medical students can literally pull a heart out, look at it in 3D, peel it apart, take an up-close look at the valves and everything in the heart without ever even touching a human body. It's a lot different how we learned, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Thank yes, you, it